I just wanted to say that uh, I do have a Let's Play coming. Um, I, the Let's Play itself is um, very nearly blind, um, but I just wanted to show a little bit of what I have created ahead of, I mean, this is after the Let's Play, but I've created some pretty cool stuff, so I'm going to get to that now. Hey guys, I just want to show this off. Um, just this is how I'm going to introduce it. This is the outside, etc. Go through this little cave here. This is cave kind of spreads out and gets much wider and whatnot. But that's not what I'm wanting to show you guys. Yes, I've I've put a little bit of time into this game, even though it drives me nuts sometimes. I still put a lot of time into it. Yeah, so let's close that door. Let's go up this nice, beautiful staircase right here. Open this door. What the? Oh yeah. Welcome to my chateau. This is the penis de Milo. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I got some forges here, some forges here. Uh, I'll use this for whatever, maybe just disposing of stuff I don't want. I love that. Isn't that great? Yes, that's actually gold and that's actually iron. The penis de Milo. Yeah, okay, that's it. Uh, crafting area here. Over here, oh, yeah, this is my beautiful pool. I'll get to that in a second. Here is my um, little garden here. I got my reed and my cactus and my uh, wheat. And it's held in by a fence somehow. I'll get to that in a second. So here is my heated pool. Yes, yes, hot water. Yes, nice. <laughs> splish, splish. Okay. Oh, and what is this? What could this be? Mm. Those are little beacons that tell me where to go. Whee! Oh, yeah! Oh, yes. Okay, so I'll get to that in a second. Here's my my beautiful house. And just a little bit of storage on the each side right there. I got lots of junk. Here's my bed. I, I don't know how to make a good-looking pillow, but this is my bed. This is sort of a sink and or bathtub. <laughs> I have another little creation right here. And whee! <laughs> That's in case I want a refreshing jump out of the pool. Well, let's go back up here again. This is my tower. Get to look out over all of the land. All of the land. Yes. Hello, cow. How are you doing? Oh, I've never done this. This could kill me, probably. I don't know if I can make the jump. Oh, yeah. That was the first time I ever did that. And then we've got... We've got a couple different ramps up here and stuff like that that lets you go on the outer wall. Mm, the, basically, if you're on the outer wall, that's the only place that isn't safe. Now, you're probably wondering, what on earth is that? This is my entrance, my primary entrance. Anytime any stupid skeleton or zombie or even pig or cow comes walking over, they'll just go bleak, right into the lava. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? And I have all this glass here to hold the lava in place. So we can actually go up on top to see what that looks like. Yes, my place is awesome. Uh, one thing though, every once in a while, as a glitch, even though I've got glass all over this thing, the lava is still able to uh, hit me every once in a while, and I don't know why. Yeah, I put all this glass here so that I would be safe from it and I could go looking around and not accidentally touch any of the lava. Lava lava. Oh, and <laughs> putting this lava into place when I didn't quite figure out how to do it right away, I scorched my base so many times. <laughs> but yeah, now it's all great and deadly. Actually, one more thing. I created this underground little spot here. When I created this wall right here, I created 
some dirt here, but there's an underground area here, which usually there's a collection of mobs in here. Not this time. I think what it is now is I'm not going to actually get mobs up here anymore because of... I should put some light in here. Yeah. Because I have so much building going on that they're like, oh, just leave them alone. Yeah, see, it goes all the way back there and whatnot. Collected some sand here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I have uh, had a previous base, but uh, it's mostly disassembled now to make this one. And it's a nice base. I mean, is there anything I can't do here? I mean, I got a heated pool, I got a garden, I got a forge, I got a house. I don't even have a very, very accessible dungeon. Also, I have this little spot up here to look around. So I have three pillars. You can see the one off in the distance there. I have that one there. And... I love the PS2 Milo. It's so awesome. And then that one. That... Conveniently, let me show you, let me show you. I should have waited until I was closer before saying that. Because it's going to take me a while. This spot right over here is where I spawn if I die. Ta-da! It's a great way to find, so I don't have to go very far. Let's kill some cows. I don't have the record that I had in the other game. I hope to find one again soon, because I don't want to continue from this game. This game is actually... I'm really satisfied with it. I got the type of caution necessary to do good in this game. Now, don't mind the, uh, cap the, the treasure chest here. Pretty cluttered. Check it out. 29 diamonds! Got lots of arrows. I've never even used one, but pff, why not? Decided to grab them. This will eventually be my treasure room. I'll actually have a big treasure chest here, 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 and here, and here. Um, <laughs> if I ever need that much capacity. And then I want to actually... Well, I might have one treasure chest there and there. I have one of these here just for the heck of it. But Oops. <laughs> and there we go. What do you think? What What is my base missing? What? I don't know if it's missing anything. This is just... Missing a little maybe glass over there so that I can stay safe from... Because I just want to jump on everything in my own base. Oh no! Why is it dead yellow? Oh, okay. <laughs> Disgusting. Alright, I'll talk to you guys another time. Also, in case you wanted to see what my place looked like as it turns into night, oh yeah. Let's witness, witness the awesomeness of the sun going down and my place all lighting up. Oh yeah. Oops, <laughs> I forgot some of my torches. I'll go put those torches up while we're waiting for it to become night. I love my skylight right here. <laughs> torches, torches, torches. It's alright. Yeah. Is that the only one I forgot? I think that's the only one I forgot. Yeah. Alrighty. Ah, I'm not even gonna try this time. <laughs> I'm probably die and screw up my plans for recording. Wee. Stick. My torches are still work usable. This is... I only planted these things just a second ago. This thing is booming. This is a great way to get plants. But yeah. If, if anything, there's almost too much light. But yeah, my beautiful base at the beautiful night. 
Um, I do know that uh, you you can make a uh, red ore stuff like automated things like mine cards and switches and levers and stuff like that. But um, you just hadn't found a use for it. I mean, I got plenty of red ore, and I have all the recipes in which to make it. Let's see, where is all my red ore? Yeah, see, I mean, well, I mean, I can get tons more than that, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, see you guys.